Inflamadry is the first and only in-office dry eye test that identifies elevated matrix metalloproteinase 9, or MMP9, a biomarker of ocular surface inflammation. Using four simple steps, Inflamadry test results are achieved in as little as 10 minutes, aiding in dry eye diagnosis and allowing a treatment plan to be established with the patient during their office visit. Please note that failure to follow the instructions presented in this video could lead to an erroneous result. The Inflamadry kit comes with everything required to collect the patient's sample and perform the test. Individually packaged sterile sample collector, individually packaged test cassette, buffer vial, package insert, quick reference instructions. Before administering the test, be sure the patient has not used any ocular anesthetic or any other topical medication in the eye. If so, wait at least two hours before collecting a sample. To assemble the test, make sure there is no damage to the foil pouches before opening to ensure contents are still sterile. Open the test cassette and set it aside. Next, open the sterile sample collector, being careful to open at the end opposite the sampling fleece to avoid contact. Remove the lid from the buffer vial. Note, remove sample collector and test cassette just prior to collecting sample. Gently dab the sampling fleece in multiple locations along the palpable conjunctiva, releasing the lid after every two or three dabs to allow the patient to blink. Collect until the sampling fleece is saturated Adequate saturation usually occurs when the sampling fleece is dabbed at least six to eight times and then allowed to rest against the conjunctiva for an additional five seconds. In more severe dry eye cases, additional dabbing may be necessary to moisten the sampling fleece. Do not use a dragging motion when collecting the sample. Upon saturation with tear fluid, the fleece will glisten. Based on tear volume and composition, the fleece may appear white or patchy pink in color. Next, take the test cassette and remove the protective cap. The opened test cassette should be used within one hour. Snap the sample collector onto the transfer window, pressing firmly where indicated. The double click means the test has been properly assembled. Place the absorbent tip into the buffer vial for a minimum of 20 seconds, ensuring that the tip is not bent. Once the test has been activated, remove it from the vial and replace the protective cap. Be sure to label the test cassette to identify right or left eye and the patient's name. Place the test cassette flat on a horizontal surface and set timer for 10 minutes. Do not interpret the test results before 10 minutes of development time has passed. A purple fluid wave may be observed moving across the result window while the test is running. When the background within the result window is white and 10 minutes have passed, the test may be accurately read. If there is a streaky fluid wave in the background, or if a test is negative after 10 minutes, allow an additional five to 10 minutes of running time prior to reading results. The results of the test are indicated through two lines, which appear in the result window, the control line and the result line. The control line appears as a blue line in the control zone. The control line indicates the correct application and performance of the test and must appear for the test to be valid. The presence of both a blue line in the control zone and a red line in the result zone indicates a positive result. An uneven or incomplete red line is due to an uneven distribution of tear fluid on the sampling fleece. Even if the red line is faint in color, incomplete over the width of the test strip, or uneven in color, it must be interpreted as positive. A positive result indicates the presence of MMP9 greater than 40 nanograms per milliliter. The presence of only a blue line in the control zone indicates a negative result. A negative result is indicative of an MMP9 level less than 40 nanograms per milliliter. If a blue line does not appear, the test may be invalid. Re-immerse the absorbent tip into the buffer vial for an additional 10 seconds. If a blue line still does not appear, the test must be discarded. 
and the subject retested by resampling the eye using a new inflammadry test. If a second sample is needed, the sampling may be repeated 60 minutes later. Note, the test should be read within six hours of test completion. After this period of time, it is possible that the results may change. For assistance when running the Inflamadry MMP9 test, contact Technical Support at 1-800-874-1517 between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Pacific Time.